All right, guys, today we're gonna talk about five knives and probably a few additions that are better than your Benchmade knife that you have right now in your pocket. So without any further ado, guys, let's jump right into this list. So I wanted to have quite a few direct competitors that honestly went toe to toe with specific um, Benchmade knives. And I wanted to have like some genuine offerings that were similar enough, but yet competitive and different. So the first one on the list, I think has to be the TRM Shadow. Now this guy, once again, features an Axis styled lock. So this is not a you know, true Axis lock, but it is TRM's own own um, access lock that they did. And honestly, I think they did a really good job with it. It is uh, perfectly functional and perfectly fine in my opinion. And honestly, I think that this guy doesn't necessarily have any direct competition um, in you know Benchmade's lineup, but it could be competitive to a number of different models. However, the nice thing about this TRM is very thin, very slicey, but still has a very good like fingerprint or footprint, I should say. Um, it, you know, feels good in the hand in multiple positions, feels reasonably hand filling, and is ultimately a just overall really solid option. Very, very good competitor. So the TRM Shadow is my first one up on the list. And I think it really has to be just because it has that axis styled lock and has such a functional design and blade. Not to mention too, these are also, you know, very competitively priced with Benchmades. And it also features, in my opinion, a better steel than most Benchmades. This is coming in CPM 20 CV. So some Benchmades have CPM 20 CV, but honestly, not many do. All right, next one up on the list is pretty obvious, like you guys could see it coming, and that is the Hogue Decca. Now, the Hogue Decca is one that I've talked about a lot before, and others on YouTube have. This is really a direct competition or competitor to Benchmade's Bug Out. It is very much um, along the same lines of size, styling, weight, and other kind of specifications as the Benchmade Bug Out. One nice addition, though, I will say is that they do have, um, or this one is running CPM Magna Cut, or you can get it slightly more expensive in CPM 20 CV. All right, next one up is going to be a Spyderco, and this is the Spyderco Delica 4. I think for an entry-level knife, I'm not really sure Benchmade really has anything around the price point of most normal um, Spyderco Delicas anymore, because these guys can be had for well under um, 100 bucks, but the Delica is totally worth mentioning because while it is a lockback and not the most um, intuitive or easy to use when at least closing one-handed, though you totally still can, as you can see, um, it is just a really great value option to go for if you're looking for something that has high performance and a good price point. All right, next one up is the TRM Neutron. Now, the TRM Neutron is another one that, in my opinion, goes with that kind of design ethos that Benchmade has been on about for the past couple of years, trying to make super thin, super lightweight, super slicey blades. And I think the Neutron, while it does not have an access lock, it is still very good at competing with many of those similar designs and having a very thin, thin profile, very slicey blade, and it just gets the job done very well. Not to mention, it is also really, really compact. And uh, yeah, once again, still comes in CPM 20 CV. All right, next one up. And this one is one that I feel is like a direct competitor to the Benchmade 940 Osborne. Even though the Osborne's been out for a long time, this is the Spyderco Smock. And the Spyderco Smock, while it is definitely not everyone's cup of tea, once again, very similar to the 940 by Benchmade, um, the Smock is a very good knife for being if like if you want a super thin super low profile or maybe not quite thin but super like low profile um very narrow knife this is a really really good option for that i mean even the flipper has been adjusted more forward so this isn't like a proper front flipper but you guys can see here how that flipper tab has been adjusted forward to make it just slip into the pocket very nicely but still have a really good action not to mention this one is running on caged ball bearings so it is very very smooth as you guys can see and the compression lock is of course done in that special kind of reverse manner to give it a button style 
lock, but still ultimately a compression. So anyways, that is a very good offering. If you are, you know, of, of the opinion that you really like the Benchmade 940, you just don't want the Benchmade or you want better performance than the Benchmade 940, this is, in my opinion, the route to go. Not to mention too, it's also still in the same steel that the 940 is. The 940 is in CBM S30V, pretty much always has been, at least in base configuration. Um, and this one is also in S30V. So very much a equal in those rights. All right, that has been five, but I still have a couple more additions to throw out there. So these ones are gonna be a little bit more if you, or these ones are a little bit more like aimed at their higher end. So if you want something that's a little bit nicer looking, that's not a Benchmade, um, the first one I would recommend is something like the ZT-0 uh, 450 or the 452 depending on you know how large of a knife you want the 450 is a little bit smaller so this one's a little bit more pocket friendly the 452 is definitely bigger but uh yeah this thing is hard to go wrong with because zt really knocked it out of the park it is buttery smooth it is running on bearings of course but especially something like this 450 carbon fiber you get that nice full carbon fiber uh scale or show side and i personally like the blacked out blade because I think it complements the um, carbon fiber look better than the just stone washed blade but yeah super smooth action once again a smaller kind of classy knife if you need something to kind of dress up to this is definitely a really really solid option that is so hard to go wrong with okay next one up is the Chris Reeve Knives Omnimzon. Now I chose this one and some people are like, why'd you choose a, you know, Chris Reeve Knives Omnimzon? And that is because honestly, Benchmade, you know, they're coming out with a lot of knives like the Narrows um, and they've had more expensive knives out there. So if they want to play in the same ballpark as expensive knives, then I will get you guys a, you know, a good, in my opinion, a competitive option to something like the Narrows. And so for me, I think something like this Omnimzon, it's a little bit more robust built still titanium handles cpm s45 vn blade um you know it's hard to go wrong with something like the uh omnims on because it is very much built to be a tough and sturdy folder while still looking classy and still having really good materials and once again too i think it's competitive you know the narrows they're trying to sell for you know just over 500 dollars, and the omnims on does run in a similar um, price range so those have been seven actually competitive options in my opinion and uh, the cool thing about this is outside of um, these two everything else is made in the u.s so if that's a determining uh, factor for you if you need something or rather desire a knife made in the u.s outside of the two spider codes i mentioned you know the zt is made in the u.s the trms are made in the u.s the hoags are made in the u.s so everything else the chris reeves i should say almost goes without saying are made in the u.s so basically um, if that's a determining factor for you most of these knives are also made in the u.s just like bench maids so i think that's another point worth noting but yeah there are tons of competitive options out there to go for that I think honestly deliver um, higher value and higher performance than most of the Benchmades. So anyways guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, God bless and I'm out.